If you've already learned about transcendental functions, especially the fact that the derivative, this is a quick recall, that the derivative of the natural log of x is simply just 1 over x, technically where x is the absolute value, okay? Um, then working out this problem is going to be pretty simple. Right? This is going to be a short video here. Um, let's let, we're going to use uh, integration by substitution, so let's let u equal our entire denominator, in this case 3x plus 1, right? Which, if you work this out and you take the derivative of this with respect to x, then you see that you simply get a 3. Um, let's see, let's multiply both sides by x, that gives me du is equal to 3 dx, but I don't see a 3 dx in my original problem here. Right? I see a dx, but I don't see a 3 up top with it, 3 dx. I see a 1 dx. So let's do one more thing, and that is let's divide both sides by 3, eliminating this. And now, in place of dx, we're going to substitute in du over 3. Okay? All right, so let's rewrite our original uh, integrand here. So I've got an integral of 1 over u, right? So this is being replaced with the u. There it is. And in place of dx, we're substituting in, right? In place of dx, we're substituting in du over 3. Now watch how I do this. Here's my du, but instead of putting over 3, right? Instead of putting this over 3, this is really just a constant, this 3 on the denominator. So I'm going to move it all the way out of my integrand. There we go. Or out of the integral altogether and stick it out front. Right, it's just a constant anyways. Okay, now, do you notice that this 1 over u, if you wanted to, you could write it this way. We're going to run into a little snag here in just a second. Right, I could rewrite this 1 over u as u to the negative first power, right? No problem. But what happens if I employ the antiderivative trick of add 1, which is now 0, and divide by that new exponent 0. Hey, wait a second, we can't divide by 0. So I hope you see that here's our little snag. We can't actually do this, right? We can't run, we can't add 1, which is our new exponent of 0, and divide by that new exponent of 0. It just doesn't work. But that's where we must recognize that the antiderivative of 1 over u, or in our case, recall, the antiderivative of 1 over x, if you went backwards, is the natural log of x. Oh, so the antiderivative of 1 over u must be the natural log of u. In fact, it is. Uh, don't forget that our 1 -third is still kicked out front there. And since this is an indefinite integral, I'll put a plus c at the end. All right, and I'm almost done. The only thing here is, right, again, this, this 1 over u, the antiderivative of this 1 over u, was the natural log of u. I hope you see that that's where it's coming from, okay? Um, but there's one more thing. We don't want our answer in terms of u. We want our answers in terms of x, all right? So I'm going to put back in place of u here my 3x plus 1. But since natural log, right, and I probably should have done this over here in our recall, since the natural log is always the absolute value of that quantity, or right? it's always the absolute value of it, then what I'll do is I'll write it like this on my math lab or maybe on your homework paper. Okay, I'm going to write this as one third natural log absolute value of 3x plus 1. And then I'll put my plus c at the end. So this is where how I'm going to write my final answer, okay, using the absolute value of that argument 3x plus 1. So I just back substitute in place of u the 3x plus 1. Hope that makes sense. Pretty easy.